Hi guys, so um, I'm always charging my boards and uh, actually what happened today was um, I had the power switch on on my uh, the Icebox electric skateboard and I had the power switch on and last time I rode it was with my friend when my friend was here about two weeks ago. So the battery kept draining. It's a 12 S2P Samsung 40T. And then uh, when I tried to charge it this morning, it wouldn't charge. And I was like, oh no, the battery depleted. So I, what I did, um, what would happen is if I plug it to the charger, the red light would flash and it wouldn't actually charge. So what I did is, this is a, um, actually this is a 50.4 volt charger as you can see here, uh, which is for 12 S2P. Now I have a bunch of a 10 S, uh, chargers like this one is actually 42 volts so I plug this one in and it started charging and then once I got uh, trickle charged it to a certain voltage I replugged the uh, the 12 s2 P uh, charger and started charging so if your battery has depleted all the way uh, somehow especially with the VESC stuff because it doesn't auto uh, turn off or if you have like a own board uh, and it, you know, it, you forgot to charge it and you left it and you know, your battery loses voltage. And what happens is when you plug it in, uh, these chargers, all the uh, chargers, they have minimum voltage that it requires. So if you're below that voltage, uh, it might not charge. So what you do is you get a charger that's rated less. So if you're using, uh, something like an ohm board, which is a, a 10 S 2 P or 42 volt, uh, battery, then you can grab like something like a 36 volt, which is like an 8P battery. You can just buy one on eBay for like super cheap. So grab a 36 volt and plug it in until it charges uh, just enough where you can actually charge it with your main charger. Um, so just a tip, if your skateboard stops charging and you forgot to charge it, and you left it for months, it doesn't mean your battery's dead. It uh, These chargers, I realize, uh, are just not designed um, to charge if it's below a certain voltage. So if you let your battery deplete that, that much, you might uh, be able to fix it simply by using a uh, smaller voltage charger. So for, for most commercial, uh, are there, there are tennis, you know, this is a tennis 4P. Uh, all, all the tennis batteries uh, running 42 volts, um, just grab a, like a 36 volt or even like a 40 volt. Or if you have like a manual, you know, one of those chargers, then you can use also those too. Uh, but like I said, the biggest problem is uh, these chargers don't charge if you go below a certain amount on some, some of these chargers, especially the one I have here. Um, so I just want to share that with you so you can fix your board. So I was like, <laughs> did my battery die? <laughs> Because it, there's no way it could have died, but I just depleted because I had the power button on it. It kept just dip, depleting below. It was at like 35 volts. So um, this the battery pack here is supposed to be uh, zero percent around 36 volts, right? So I just want to share that with you. This could save your whole board. And uh, I've I've been reading a lot of um, comments online where oh I bought a home board and it doesn't charge after the first charge. But what might happen? What might have happened? The same thing. You've rode it all the way to zero, and then you didn't charge it for a couple of days, and the voltage dropped below where your charger uh, would not work on it. So try that, and that should fix your boards that are broken. Um, it just has to do with voltages and sometimes, you know, knowing circuits and stuff, I've, you know, I've graduated with a computer engineering and, uh, this, um, these chargers I think are designed. So as a safety protection, they won't charge a battery that's like below zero percent. All right. Hopefully that helps.